Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, we're playing City Skylines again today. Today is a day we are going to start planning out some of our major changes to this primary tile of our city. We've started our, our business park in here and we want to still maintain a centralized location for business in this city. The, the thing that we have to do is, is to try to extend the business park downward from now and the way we're going to do that is to start cutting out some of the industrial area. You'll see from the pollution map that it, it is very polluted. The industrial area is very polluted, but um, businesses don't care so much and the pollution will eventually dissipate. So we can start to extend the business district downward. If we look at the big map, we're going to be buying the tile that's down here. For sure we will. We can start moving our industry up into the forestry district, which doesn't create uh, pollution. It creates noise, but not pollution. Um, and then we'll have our residential obviously just bordering around somewhere But I do want to get this next tile and I think we'll get that at the next milestone. Yes, we will and uh, So I want to I want to try to push to there which means we need to get another approximately what 3,500 citizens in our city So we're gonna do a bit of expanding today and I've been uh, really kind of leaving this residential area alone, but today is the day we expand it and we're going to do that in a couple different ways. We're going to first uh, start dezoning along this main corridor. And this is a prime candidate for heavy residential uh, area. So that's what we're going to zone in here. I didn't get all of that dezoning done, did I? So we're going to swing around and get a better view. And uh, actually, that might be service building right there. Yes, it is. We'll just make sure all of that is dezoned, and we'll start right about here with the high density zoning. And that's going to look really cool once all that fills in right around the ring. Yeah, let's keep this, put those guys in too. We could even do, I, I kind of want to do the sweep like basically right there. And I think these people will be probably better served as high residential, high density residential as well. So let's just... Let's just get all of this area zoned up. I don't want to use the marquee tool here because it's a little bit awkward in, in such a tight space. So we're just gonna have to just gonna have to bear with me as I click dezone this. Yeah, that's aside from a few little tidbits, I think we're done. I love how people, they're like, oh, there's one more square. I'm going to build a house right there. A little one by one house. Why, here, D zone, please. Thank you. I thought I did those already. Okay, so let's bulldoze the last sticklers out of here. We've got a nice clear canvas to work with. And uh, we'll start to do some high density zoning. And this will this will create a really cool skyline for the edge of the city. I think we probably knocked out power to our industrial area. Yes, we did. <laughs> well, we are like um, famous for screwing over our industrial citizens for power. I've done that probably about 20 times in this city already. Don't worry, you'll get power back in a second. Okay, so we've done a fair amount of zoning there. Uh, where else can I connect this power? Uh, let's try from here. There we go. Okay, so now we don't have to worry about that. We need to finish off the zoning here. We're done that. That looks pretty darn good right there. And it uh, looks like our residential demand is being met, so we got to start working on the other demands. Now, this area here, I'm not happy with the way that it looks. And I think what we're going to end up doing is um, chopping this down. So we'll have... I'm going to change the way that this road looks. I want to make it kind of a kind of a box, like a, a little bit of a square shape. And we're going to be cutting out a lot of this industrial area. So before we do that, I want to get some new forestry zoning done up here so that the industry doesn't die off completely. So we will grab our six lane road and extend out. I don't want to do curve, I want to do straight. We're going to extend this all the way because this is going to be a huge forestry area. Now let's um, 
Let's get a couple little interior avenues done. And we'll make this one kind of extend back and like that. I think that's kind of neat. And then we'll take some roads in here. Maybe just a couple all the way straight through. Don't want to create another intersection there on that main road. So we'll just pull in from the edge or from the inside edge instead. Uh, could even do a strip, interior strip. That works better for traffic purposes. Okay, so we're going to zone this as uh, industrial. First, we need to change our district. So we'll pull the Conrad Forestry Reserve all the way down and make a nice big forestry industry area. Now we'll get the zoning done. In big swaths. I think that looks pretty darn good right there. So that'll give us a, a nice new area to allow our industrial to move once we start bulldozing them out of the old area. Which we will do in just one second. Okay, we're ready to go. Now let's, um, let's start getting a little dirty with this. Uh, we want to grab this road and pull it outward a bit more. And I think I'm going to cut about... Well, I'm going to leave this main road here for the time being, and I think we're going to cut down with this road and attach it there just for now. This is kind of a bit of a mid-stage plan for this. So let's pause the game and get our bulldozer out, and uh, we'll start bulldozing from right about there. Take that road down to the baseline. And we'll grab our six lane. And we'll just, actually, I'm, I'm going to pull it from that intersection up there because I don't like the way the shape is otherwise. Grab it here. Fairly straight all the way down. Just like that. We're going to kind of do the same thing on this side. Once we, uh, you know what, we could probably do that right now. Yeah, we might as well do that right now while we, while we can. We're going to be intersecting a ton of stuff here though. Uh, okay. We'll fix those intersections in a bit. Let's just bulldoze this road for now. These little one by one businesses are hilarious. What is this even? A dino oil change. Okay, we're going to have to take this road out. I wish I would just demolish all of that. We're going to have to do it by hand. Goodbye, industrial area. As your city grows, you know, it's, it's, you have to do this kind of stuff. Unless you're really attached to the area and you, you want to keep the same layout, you've eventually got to start using your bulldoze tool, so don't be too scared to do it. What is blocking me here? Hmm. Really? Is it hitting the dump? What do we have here? Is this something? No. Nope. Hmm. I don't know what that is. I don't know what's doing that. Oh, we'll just bulldoze everything around here then. Now we shouldn't have any issues. There we go. 
Okay, let's get a nice aerial view so we can make this somewhat symmetrical. And right there. I think that looks pretty good. So then we'll make maybe one major intersection on this road straight across. So we will have to bulldoze right through there. There we go. And now we need to do a couple avenues coming through here. So let's get, let's get that underway. We'll just bulldoze all of the rest of this stuff. I'm not scared to use my bulldoze tool, guys, and you shouldn't be able, you shouldn't be scared of it either. You, uh, you eventually need to have your city the way you want it, and just because you had to grow it organically from a really small little area doesn't mean that you should not change it later. Think about the way that small towns were when they were first set up. If they had stayed the exact same way that they were, the city would have never grown. Okay, we're going to do a little bit of a... A patterned approach on this so we're going to do a bit of a split I hope this is actually I hope this actually works I got this idea in my head and I hope it works so we'll do a uh, two-way off of here and then we're gonna pull uh, one ways downward off of this one intersection we have to bulldoze this though So we'll grab a one way from here and pull it through. And then we'll grab another one way from about there. Pull that up. Nope, oh, not gonna let me do that, eh? Might try this again. Uh, what we'll do instead is maybe extend this out. Like, I have my snap back on. There we go. Like that. Kind of a neat looking thing. I don't know how well the traffic's going to function in here, but I, I kind of wanted to do a bit of a, a diamond pattern. Uh, so let's keep going with that. And then once we've got the area set up, we'll reevaluate the traffic. Because this may or may not work. I have no idea how the traffic is going to function in this, in this area. Get all of this stuff out of here. Okay, now back to our one ways. Actually, we'll do the avenue here first. Right about there, to the side, and to that side, and then we'll pull the one ways down. So this is the one coming down, and this is the one going up. So let's reverse it for the other side. It's a little wonky looking. Uh, the avenue is not quite in the right place, so we're not going to do, be doing this again. So I'm, I'm going to get it done right the first time. Oh, it's about there. Like one too long. 
One too short. <laughs> I'll get this right in a second. There we go. Okay, let's try these one ways again. Hopefully I got the spacing right this time. That's better. I like it. Okay, let's zone this bad boy up. Actually, first I want to pull a couple interior roads off. And we'll pull one like up here. And one right about there. Do the same on this side. Come on. right side is a little bit bigger than the left but that's okay does not have to be symmetrical once it's filled in you'll never be able to tell anyway okay pretty cool uh, should we do one on the center like one up here or leave that for green space I think it's kind of a neat pattern so let's just leave it for green space let's get into some zoning here and we're gonna do some heavy commercial Really hoping the traffic works in this thing. We will soon find out though. How does that look? We should do some on the top parts of the avenue as well. There is a bit of an issue with the power line here. So we'll pull that back. Whoops. That was a bit of a misclick. And we'll fix that zoning and then we'll be ready to get this serviced up and running. Double check we got water and there's some places that have some issues. So we'll pull these through. There we go. Power is not going to get there anytime soon. So perhaps we uh, we didn't zone there, so we're okay to put a power line in there for now. Let's grab this guy. We'll pull him right there. Now, do you think we have enough space up here to satisfy the industrial demand that we took out of here? We'll have to find out. I'm not sure that we do. I'm not positive, but let's let's give it a run. To wait till this fills in a little bit and spreads the power around. We could actually just move this little one down here as well if we wanted to. Jump one in right about there. There we go. That looks uh, that looks really neat. I like the way that that's kind of it kind of reminds me of like a native symbol, like North American native symbol. Very cool, or like even uh, like a Australian native type symbol, like a shield or something. It's going to take a while for our demands to spring back. We didn't lose any population over that, so that's fine. Uh, what are they telling us we need here? Healthcare? We've got lots. What about death? Maybe they're telling us to put cemeteries in. Nope. We should be okay on cemeteries. So 
So we've got some commercial filling in. This is going to fill in, I think, faster than we expect. Uh, what else? We don't have any connection there to the dump now, do we? Let's start emptying that. Uh, and we need to get a road to it so that they can get emptying it. All of these guys are also full. Maybe we'll need to build some more incinerators. Let's see what our incineration status is right now. Yeah, a little, little deficient, so let's grab a couple here. And uh, where do we want to put them? Let's just put them right on the outskirts for the time being. We're at the point now where um, money doesn't matter anymore. It's a bit kind of unfortunate in this game that there does come a point where you can basically go on cruise control for the rest of it. And I think at some point in time when I find one of the mods that does a hard mode properly, I'm going to download it. I, I want to be able to have that feeling that if I make mistakes with my city design, it's going to crash. And honestly, the way the game is right now, it's almost impossible to crash your city from what I've seen. Oh, these guys need some water. Yeah, yeah, I'm solving your garbage issues. Just bear with me. Let's start emptying these landfills. We can get rid of them eventually. Uh, that guy is empty finished, so we can demolish him now. Get rid of that little road too. How is our forestry area? Nope, oh, lots of development in here. They still need some workers. But I think uh, we're on the plus side of a population growth, so we'll be fine. Let's take a look at our bit of our skyline here. Very, very cool. We put all this, this dense uh, residential in here the last time. And uh, it looks like it's developed very nicely. A little central park in here. That's very cool looking. And a high school, elementary school. What's the level of these buildings? They're just one, so I wonder what they're missing. Let's take a look at some of the graphical overviews. Uh, healthcare is okay. Education, not very good. Education, not good. So what is, what's their gripe? What's their gripe? You've got a high school right there, man. Unless these are just new people that moved in and, and they're not educated yet. Which could very well be, because capacity-wise, we have enough. Capacity, we're doing very well. Let's take a trip through our city. Go down first person. These buildings all kind of look the same, don't they? They are all the same. What, uh, what building is that? Oh, that's the, the billboards. Big bite. Are these the offices? Maybe they're the offices. And Big Bite spared no expense on advertising. Who's the other one? Go Nuts Donuts. Let's take a rip through this avenue over here. This has developed a huge amount since the last couple episodes. Get right down. Oop. I, uh, I wanted to change a setting and then I ended up ended up clicking. I want to drop this I want to drop the height a little bit more offset from the ground. Let's put it at like yeah, that's good. There we go. Now we're right down on the ground level. A little fast, eh? Very, very cool. I mean, this, you know, the way that the cities look from the ground level, I think is way more impressive than watching them from the aerial view. <laughs> I get such a kick out of looking at the skylines from different areas of the city. Oh, we just saw a building level up over there. 
Because when you when you look at this avenue from above, it looks like it's it's a very thin avenue. Like it, you know. Let's let's take a look from above. So like it's it's very thin, right? It doesn't look like it's very substantial in the world, but when you're down on the ground level, it looks uh, it looks very like imposing, doesn't it? Look at all the people. It's just a huge avenue of apartment buildings. Hmm, very neat. Anyway, I think that's going to do it for today. We did some major, major surgery on our uh, business park, and we'll let that grow. We've got new industrial coming up over here. I think we're uh, well on our way to our sort of final form of the business area, and we'll continue developing our dense residential in the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.